So to start off this no foundation makeup tutorial, I'm first going to do my brows quickly with the Sleek Brow Stylist Pencil in the shade Dark. And I recently went to get my brows done and I feel like she messed them up, so there you go. But I tried to fix them up with this pencil, it's super easy to use. But I'm not going to be going to that brow lady again. But when I'm done doing my brows, I am going to grab my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Nude to just carve out the bottom bit and make everything look neat and I'm using a Real Techniques lip brush I believe to do this and then for moisturiser I'm going to moisturise my skin with the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturiser you can use any moisturiser preferably with an SPF because you're not going to have any foundation um, I also just spot corrected with the same concealer, the Maybelline one, around my mouth area because I had a few spots and blemishes um, in that area. And then using the same concealer again, I'm just going to apply some concealer under my eyes and blend that in with my Beauty Blender. And my moisturizer doesn't have SPF, I think, so I would recommend using one with SPF. I just used the one that I had with me. Just to set that concealer in, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette to set that in with the yellow powder. Um, it's a great drugstore palette by the way and I'm obsessed with it. And then to bronze up my skin, I'm going to use the 17 Instant Glow Bronzer in the shade Medium and just basically bronze it out of my face as always. But this is like really good at making your skin look like it does have foundation, I just feel like it adds that extra step to make your skin look really really flawless and sun kissed and I'm obsessed with bronzer. Now onto mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara and this really pushes up your mascara so I didn't use a eyelash curler and it's such a great mascara at making your lashes look really really voluminous and thick and long. Um, here I'm just touching up my brows a bit. And I also use the Rimmel Clear Brow Gel to set my brows in. She cuts so much hair in the middle of my brow, like in the center, and it's just horrible. But anyways, and now on to highlight. I'm going to use the 17 Glow body bronzer I don't know the name exactly but I'll write it in the info box but this highlighter it's, it's meant to be for like your whole body but I just use it on my face and as you can see I'm just like loving it it applies so nicely on the skin and it just gives you the most like best natural glow ever but it's like right in your face but see it's still natural I don't know but it looks so good anyways that's what I use for highlighter and then for my lips I'm just going to use this L'Oreal gloss in 110 and just quickly apply that all over my lips and then I'm going to use my Mario Badescu rose water facial spray to set my whole face and add some more dewiness to it and you also want to make sure that your bronzer and highlight and everything stays on as well so it's nice to use a makeup spray and then here I'm going to line my waterline with this Rimmel Cold Nude Pencil super creamy and it's just so easy to apply on your waterline you just don't have to like tug at your eyes, which I find you have to do with most pencils. Um, and then here I'm just adding a bit more mascara and that's the end of this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's super simple, super easy um, and it's just great for every day, especially if you're at school, if you just want to wear the most minimum makeup to work or something. And yeah, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next video.